Welcome to the 11th episode of the RP1 series. The first thing I'm going to do is pop in the VAB. We need to unlock these RL10s for this Centaur stage. So I'm going to do that right now. Oh geez. We don't have enough cash. So I'm going to go to Mission Control and accept some contracts. I want to take one with a really big advance. We can choose the Lunar Orbit contract or the Lunar Flyby. I think I'm gonna go with the Flyby because it just has a bigger advance. And these contracts have like 10 years to complete them. And now I can purchase the engine and start building this rocket. But it looks like it's time for another threshold launch. This will be our fourth crewed mission. Hopefully this one will also make it to orbit. Everything was on track until the game crashed. So I quickly raced back into my last save and flew the mission again. Back on the ground, I'm going to hop into Mission Control and accept a new contract. I think I'm going to go with the Weather Satellite. It's a pretty simple contract, but I just need something to fill up time before the next transfer window. And here we are launching our first communication satellite. This is for a contract and hopefully it will make our connections back to the Space Center less sporadic. separation and now we can get ready to light that engine or not luckily the game saved and we're right back at it and with our final orbit achieved the timer began the countdown and I could spin up the satellite and release it Today, we're launching a weather satellite. But this satellite also has a big antenna, so it can double as a relay satellite. And after reaching orbit, I can open up the solar panels and deploy the satellite. But over time, I've been collecting science, and now we have enough to finally unlock the Gemini capsule. This will be the capsule that propels us to the moon. It's time to test out the Centaur upper stage. This will be the first time we ever fly a Hydrolox rocket engine, and my hopes are high. Despite 
Despite the high odds of failure, the Centaur actually performed nominally, and neither RL-10 had any sort of mishap, and we made it all the way to orbit. I can then deploy the third stage and probe, which is destined for the moon, and I decided to deorbit the Centaur, because these RL-10s have multiple ignitions. Surprisingly, both RL-10s lit and burned until all their fuel was depleted. TLI burn. Our last lunar orbiter failed because, once it got to the moon, there was a thrust imbalance in the SRB and it started spinning. This time I decided to bring the entire Agena stage to the moon for LOI. And, even after multiple days in the harshness of space, the engine lit just as expected. This mission will surely grant us a ridiculous amount of science points. Now I'm going to dump some money into our R&D, and I'm going to train our Kerbals. Admittedly, it was very stupid to not start Gemini training as soon as I unlocked the capsule, but alas. Now they'll have to wait until early 1964 until we can fly them at all. But that's still a year ahead of real life. Although, I will upgrade the astronaut complex so that they're going to be trained a little bit quicker. This satellite has to go into a special orbit, so I'm gonna warp around until we approach this red line so there's not a whole lot of uh, inclination between us and the target orbit. So I'm gonna launch, and we're on our way. third stage is going to push our apolapse out to where our periapse or our final orbit should be. So I'm going to wait until these orbit lines about intersect and cut off. This mission has a very tight profile and it looks like we just barely didn't make it. But I do have RCS fuel and it should be enough to get us into the proper orbit. And with that, the timer began the countdown. Time to launch the last rocket before we head for Venus. This will be the SkySat 2, it's another weather satellite, and it's launched from the same Alpha launch vehicle. third stage places us into a correct orbit, and the timer begins to count down. Let me try and get this into a nice, neat orbit. Okay, oh, what the heck? I've never seen this before. It looks like we no longer have control of the satellite, because we no longer own it? Hmm, I wonder what would happen if we decoupled. What the? That's not how gravity works. I've never seen that before. Okay, it doesn't look like we have an orbit line for our satellite, and in the tracking station I can see some debris. Wait a minute, no way. <laughs> look at that. Look at that satellite. That is our probe core, the thing from earlier, just falling straight down. It lost all of its horizontal velocity. That's crazy. And with that, I think we'll end the video here. We're going to Venus next episode.